Okay, round three is a go. Currently one and one. Let's see if we can avoid playing against Tron. Now we're playing against Burn? Ugh. Ugh. Stupid thought seizes. Oh, Shriek Maw, eh? Well, game one is not going to be good. These thoughts, these were inquisitions. It might be different. My opponent's probably like, Shriek Maw, what the hell? What in the hell? So we will get a swamp. And we'll thought seize our opponent goes. Worst case scenario, we're just breaking even. Uh, up Upside is we're going to gain a life or two, but uh, that Goblin Guide is good for four damage, which goes a long way towards killing me. My opponent might have some responses to my fetch, apparently. I call, buddy. I call. All right, fine. Y'all win. It is not warm enough. Or not cold enough, rather, to wear a scarf. Thought sees you. Take all of your thoughts. Bolt. Oh, okay. Well, this this is much better for us. If they're not actual burn, uh, then we actually have a chance. I'm, I'm pretty excited now. I don't think I'm winning necessarily, but it doesn't look bad. So I can take the other goblin guide. Uh, Shriek Maw, the pile driver. Yeah, yeah. We're kind of doing it. Kind of doing it. What if Goblin Guy gave us a Black Leaf Cliff? So that would be so nice of him. Stupid Goblin Guide. I almost played this deck at the Pro Tour. I don't know how close I was to actually registering it, but it's definitely something I worked on. A little Goblin Strategy. Eight Whack, if you will. Some devastating summons action up in there. Oh, thank you, Mr. Goblin Guide. Thank you. I appreciate the Black Leaf Cliffs. I do not appreciate the two damage. So, I'll tell you what. I will trade you this Black Leaf Cliffs in exchange for four life points. How does that sound? No deal, you say. That's weird. It's so weird. All right. Pile drivers in the house. I'm going to stabilize, I think, but I'm going to be very low. And then I have to fade the whack combo. Evoke Shriek Maw. Um, I guess I have to kill Pile Driver because Loyalist represents an extra two. Yeah, because if I kill the Pile Driver, I take three damage next turn. If I kill the Goblin Guide, I take four damage. So that's that's just math right there. Plus, I get another shot at hitting another land, which would be great. So my opponent has a Lightning Bolt and a random card. Hopefully it's not a Reckless Bushwhacker, because then we'd be pretty dead. Oh, Jace on top. That's not great. That is not great. Hase, you're a little slow. Little slow. What do you got? Like a, a brute force over there? What's going on? So we're going to take the three down to ten. Going to play land, pass the turn. If they go to Kologon's Command Us, we will... Or if they go to Blighting Bolt Us, excuse me, I will Kologon's Command to kill Goblin Guide and make them discard their last card because it could be like a Goblin Grenade or something. Who knows? Um, could also just bring back Shriek Maw, but with the other Kologon's Command, I think I have creatures covered. So, Homeboy, send me a message. What's up? Oh, internet being slow. That's Okay. Currently, uh, mostly a snowstorm here in Roanoke, Virginia, so I get it. Uh, my opponent did not lightning bolt me, so now they have a bunch of cards, a bunch of stuff to discard to the K command. So we'll see what they do. It's possible a, a better play is to mana leak. Um, 
I guess I let them attack. I know I kind of joked about having them having a brute force before. Oh, really? Goblin Guide's staying home. We're going to make a, a strategic not attack. Okay, that's, that's probably better. But yeah, if they have a brute force now, I'm in trouble. I am in trouble. So now, instead of making them discard, I might just want to bring back Shriek Maw, and then I can evoke Shriek Maw and keep them in Mana Leak. Although, Cold God's Command, making them discard, makes Mana Leak a little bit more live. Because maybe they discard extra land. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll get back Shriek Maw. It's basically like makeshift mannequin. Maybe this deck should have a mannequin. Mannequin would be tight. Mannequin, my Jace on tap. Flip it. What's up? What is up? You don't brute force me. Because my opponent's internet is so bad, I just think I'm getting slow rolled. Alright, so they have a lightning bolt, and I have nine life. And I have a lightning bolt. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That'd do so much work to kill this loyalist. Alright, there's the first lightning bolt, down to six life points. Okay, danger zone. Danger zone. What we got here? The Chief Tan. Well, I'm gonna go to two. I'm gonna fetch Basic Mountain, I think. Yeah, I kinda have to. <clears throat> I'm gonna lightning bolt that sucker. And I'll save my mana leak for perhaps a lethal burn spell. But uh, now I don't have a lot of blue mana. So I can't really play my Jace, which is unfortunate. Stupid thought sees. Can't really play that Seer of Visions either. Oh no. I don't know. How worried should I be about a lightning bolt or a goblin grenade? Maybe I should just give them a turn. I guess next turn I could play Jason and have like Kolagon's command back. I mean, maybe this turn I have Kolagon's command, so I can cast Serum Visions, maybe? Nah. Well, I only have two life points, so I don't really want to pay them. So this is the turn. If you want to do stuff, this is it. Kicked Bushwhacker. Uh, well, with that trigger on the stack, I'm going to have to kill this Bushwhacker anyway because I don't want to block with my J, so at least this allows me to play around Goblin Grenade. I mean, if they had a grenade, they should just not kick the Bushwhacker, but yeah, it's just a mountain, looks like. Now we can see our visions. Hopefully there's a threat in our scry. And 
And it's like, yeah, we're good at stabilizing. We're not really good at killing people, though, unfortunately. This is where Kalidus would be great. Snapcaster, that's that's kind of a kill spell. All right. So on top of both of those bad boys, get rid of this Thoughtseize. Tick up my Hase. Maybe I don't even want this Lightning Bolt. I probably do. Probably closes the game faster than anything else. I guess maybe I should have snapped Colagons commanded them. Because I, I don't have snap mana leak. So I probably should have done that. Because if I was going to like snap bolt a creature that they play or whatever, then... If I snap Colagons Command them in their draw step, at least then they're taking two damage. Or I'm rebuying a Shriek Maw. Seems much better. Oh well, I'm silly. Oh, Bushwhacker. Bushwhacker. Hmm. So two damage. And return my Shriek Maw, which is realistically not that helpful. But I could have dealt them a free two damage if I did this in their draw step. So now do I want to draw a lightning bolt? I think I do. And I can flash back a pair of lightning bolts, or I could cast Serum Visions. Another mana leak. And just the raw sea snid. Sea snid action. I guess I want the mana leak. This is this is some slow goings though. Some slow goings. Kind of tempted to flashback the K commands to make them discard their land or whatever they're holding, but I'm not gonna do that. Raw. It's possible I should tick up Jace on my Snapcaster. Is there like a small threat that I need to be worried about? Uh, what is this? Dragon fodder. Okay, I can shriek moss some of that stuff. Dragon fodder bushwhacker's kind of tight. All right, played their mountain. Cool. Now I can bolt. Well, I don't even have to bolt. This. I kind of want to though, because then my snapcaster can keep getting through. I found an inquisition. Aya. So now they're at 11, and then 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's my lightning bolt out of the graveyard. So now they need to not draw a lightning bolt, pretty much. So I think I have everything else covered, including that. <clears throat> so I'll fetch down to 1, get islands, mana leak your dinky spell. And it all works out. It all works out. Sometimes you have to work for it with the old main deck Inga Chewer.
But yeah, Grixis control. Just no way to kill people at all. It's pathetic. Is gutter ball any good? It's probably okay. Jay seems a little slow. I probably want this Shriek Maw, I guess. How do we feel about Gut Shot? Like, not bad. It's certainly not good, though, either. Are Jace or Manalik worse? Definitely want to cut one Jace. Down with that. Man, Kalidus with something like Staticaster is just busted. Just like this repeated source of killing their stuff. Like, I know it doesn't work if you kill their goblin tokens, but still. Pretty great. I feel like I'm going to have to tap out. Like, I'm going to have to, like, Shriek Maw something on turn two, and my mana leaks are not going to be very good. So I'll keep in one thought, Z. They're not trying to burn me out. If I get to take, like... Bushwhacker, or Devastating Summon, something like that. That's probably worth the two life. So. It's not great. Just kind of is what it is. Well, this is certainly a risky one. My opponent said GG. I'm not sure why. Maybe they were talking about last game. Maybe they're talking about this game. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. What am I looking for? Like a Merc Lurker, Kalidus, something like that to actually stabilize me? Because this hand is not very good against like a Dragon Fodder, for example. All right. Well, this hand is basically way worse. So, of course, I'll keep it. Bottom that Jace, and away we go. No! Ship the land, Goblin Guide. Ship it. Ship a Blackleaf Cliffs. Every time. Lightning Bolt? That's not bad. It's not bad. Let's see if you want to make the strategic no attack this turn. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, Mog War Marshal, you're the same thing as a Dragon Fodder. Uh, so I think I kind of have to spend mana this turn. So I will bolt the Goblin Guide. I'm not happy about it. Seer Visions, hope to draw black mana. Okay, okay. There's the Swamp. Uh, so we get to Inky this turn. Next turn we can't do anything except for play Raw Snapcaster, though, which kind of stinks. So do I want this Shriek Maw? I'm pretty sure I don't. And do I even want the Tar Pit? I don't know. I mean, I, I guess. I don't know. Like, if, if I hit a real land, I think it's that much better for me. So I'm going to bottom, actually. Chieftain, King, Bushwhacker, Relic. All these cards are great. If he wants to play the Relic, I think I'm okay with that. So if I take the Chieftain, he plays Bushwhacker, hits me for six. That's pretty bad, too. If I take Bushwhacker, he plays Relic. That's pretty bad for me. I'm going to have to take the Bushwhacker. Hope they brick on lands. And then I'm not taking a bunch of damage. Uh, maybe the turn after they play their three drop or whatever, and then I can K command, kill that and the relic. If I draw a land here. Possible they also just draw one drop. So they play that and relic. 
And then if I draw a third land, I can Inquisition. Oh god, now I'm super dead to their three drops if they ever get there. It's no bueno. All right. Well, now I can just play a 5-5. Five five. And he plays Goblin King if he draws a land. It's real bad. And I take six. What if he doesn't draw a land, though? Do I want Island? I don't use Island for many things except Snapcaster Mage. Do I want Bolt or Inquisition? Probably Bolt. Alright, making some risky plays. Risky plays. I think it's alright, though. So don't draw lands. Even if you do draw land, I think I'm okay. Like, not okay, I guess. Because, I yeah, I take six damage from the king, and then next turn he just plays Chieftain and, like, swarms me. So, no matter what, it's pretty bad. Maybe I should have held open K command. I don't know how I just beat these goblin tokens, though. Then if the Relic comes down, then I can't play Angler. Alright, so there's Relic. That's not Goblin Grenade. That's tight. Uh, I guess we just let this Relic thingy happen. I play Snapcaster and try and bolt something, then he can just pop the relic, and then now at least I have like K Command open to deal with his three drop. There's the king. The king is here. I do have a mountain, don't forget. Steam vents. Who sides in relic against the guy with main deck? Main deck uh Ingature. It's absurd. It's really not that absurd. That was a pretty good Kologon's command though, not gonna lie. I have to deal with the chief tan. How do we deal with the chief tan? Perhaps by blocking. All right, down to nine life. Get a fetch blood crypt because we want second black and second red. We already have uh, you know the second blue, double blue. We draw land. That's great. Excellent. Um, it's possible we could attack. So if he has land lightning bolt and bolts our snapcaster, we end up taking four damage down to five. It's not the worst. We do have to kill our opponent at some point. I wonder if I'm gonna have to keep the zombie fish back though at some point, which then makes it bad for me to make this attack. I'm not even playing the chieftain, that's really smart. That makes my attack real bad. I didn't even consider that to really be an option.
So, here's kind of an interesting spot. I guess this is fine. Didn't know if I actually wanted to use the K command in combat or not, or just like use it to pick up my Snapcaster. If I had more spells, it might be different, more spells and more life, then, then that's always an option, but I think I just want to trade with a goblin, shock a goblin, and make them discard. Take as little damage as possible. Discard shock. And we'll see what happens. Maybe they have a dodecapod. Maybe they have a brute force. Who knows? Anything could happen in modern. Except for Blazing Shoal. I guess that one can't happen. Oh, the internet. Why doesn't everyone just have, like, good, fast, clean internet? The world would be a much better place. We could all play games online and have fun and stuff. So we discarded the Chieftain. It's like we got the Snapcaster Cake Man killed the Chieftain, sort of, maybe. Almost. Pro Blue. Ooh. That is gas. That's like a bad lightning bolt. Ship it. Yes. I'm using Flame Slash. On a goblin token. I'm scared of the lords. I think he might have another chieftain. That might be why I played the pile driver. K command is busted. Straight busted. Played zombie fish and two snapcasters through a relic. All right, last card was a lightning bolt somehow. That's weird. Oh, another K command. The world is a lovely place. Uh, do I need to do anything in response to this dragon fodder? I don't think so. Wish you could do two and two damage. Um, guess I could do two and pick up Snapcaster and then kill my opponent though. It's kind of the same thing. Busted, straight busted. <laughs> 